Here's a cross section of a leaf on high power. At the top is a thin, waxy cuticle, which is a protective layer. The layer of cells beneath the cuticle is called the epidermis, and it's also on the bottom layer of the leaf. The densely packed cells below are part of the mesophyll, called the palisade mesophyll, and below that is the loosely packed spongy mesophyll, which has lots of air space. The stomata aren't very easy to spot on this slide, so let's look at another one and see if we can spot it. Again, we have the cuticle, the epidermis, the palisade mesophyll, and the spongy mesophyll. This slide is turned around, so the bottom of the leaf is actually being viewed from the top. You can also see in the top left corner a vein of the leaf. The stoma is a tiny hole made by two curved guard cells, and here we can see it. This is what the stoma and guard cells look like from the top of the leaf. The guard cells can swell up with water and open the stoma, or they can deflate and close the stoma. This helps regulate water loss in the plant. When you place the slide on the microscope stage, make sure that you're looking at the flat portion of the leaf and not the middle where the vein is. Move the slide if you need to find a better spot and draw what you see on high power. Thanks for watching this episode of Teacher's Pet. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Twitter at SciencePet.